Hi, welcome back. Doing laundry. Uh, we got the Intrinsic, the last one uh, from them that I picked up. It's the Peach Sour, aged in Jack Daniels uh, 2021. One second. Okay, there's a 2020 version. There we go. Barrel aged. Had to find the right one. There's like three different variations of this. All right. Please forward notes. Followed by sour finish aged in Jack Daniels barrels. All right. There's only been four. Fuck. <sighs> fuck me. All right. So since there is a standard version, this, like I said, is a barrel aged version. I'll uh, I'll read the four check-ins on this one. Hopefully the cap is like the last one. Really cool as shit. And once again, it's got the uh, erect nipple hanging out the side there. Damn. Now this wax is in between the first one and the second one. It's still flaky, but it sticks together a little bit better. Damn. Technical fucking difficulties. Alright, so what kind of cap we got going on here? Nah, I think it's a black one. Yeah, it's standard black. I smell the barrel from here. Yep. We got jelly bean in here. Sad news, Squeaks has been missing at this point in time. Uh, we are sitting at... April 5th, 2022. Uh, Squeaks has been missing for about three weeks. So I don't know where the hell he is. Mm. It's funky. Funky, like, sour... Bourbon, a little bit of wood. Sweet. I can smell a fruit, but I, I honestly... But I'd say it's peach mango-ish, maybe a little pineapple. Cheers. So out of the three sours I've had from them in the bottle, this one is the least vinegar-esque kind of a flavor. I don't I don't like these wild sour yeast things it just tastes tastes fucking terrible all right and not one person said a fucking thing all right let's go to the actual standard one 173 check-ins it looks completely different uh do people in Texas not know how to type? Speaking of Texas, uh, Matthew McConaughey and his family will be moving there. So if you see him, punch him. Uh, because old Matthew uh, is very anti-gun, apparently. Wrong state, motherfucker. You can have, you know, you can be liberal, whatever. I don't give a shit. I'll probably not like you anyway. But the thing is, if you want to come after my gun rights, I'm going to come after you with 556. Five, That's what it's going to be. If you want this... If you want sour, this is for you. Wow, thank you, fucking Jacob. Contributing. <laughs> I love peaches. Just not a sour fan, but I tried. Very peachy, but not sweet. Strong sour, worthy. Very sour, super delicious. So far, one person said something about peaches. And I'm done. All right, go back to the top. So the standard base got a 3.82 out of five. I do one through 10, so that's gonna be a little over seven and a half. Back down to this fucking thing. I'm not sure I like the barrel age idea. It's just, ugh. Weird tasting up front. I can't, like, it's a taste I can't describe. Almost chemical. 
So we've got a 4.75, 3.25, 3.6, and a 3.9. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it got about a 7.5 on the average. Um, I can agree with that. Not a fan of it really. Um, the yeast strain you guys use or whatever makes it have that fucking wild sour flavor. Awful. Sorry, it's just not my thing. Um, now I think you, what was the one called? Ice cream or some shit? Ice, ice cream or I don't know. Something like that is what you need to stick with. Not this yeasty, disgusting vinegar shit. I mean, if you want to move forward and be progressive in your fucking beer making, let's try to do that. Anyway, uh, what'd I say? Seven, half? Short video. <laughs> and I gotta fucking edit it, because I had to pause for a moment. Anyway, hope to see you.